so I came across one book Healing the Sick by T. L. Osborne and I took that book as if I was in the mathematics class I read it I studied it I marked it if you see that first copy now of Healing the Sick by T.L. Osman it's almost torn apart but after some years I got a new copy and I studied and I read after some years I got another copy and then but I had not started evangelizing or praying for the sick then some of the Bible study members in our Bible study then they will see me at the university because I was still lecturing they said good morning sir I said how did you know me he said I came to the Bible study and I was very sick and while you were preaching just teaching Bible study I got healed I said what I said tell me tell me tell me the truth said true another time somebody came to the sunday service and um, you i was praying and then i had myself saying what i didn't plan to say i said that woman there was the evil spirit i command the evil spirit come out there and the lord opened the eyes of the woman she had been having demonic spirit controlling her life for 18 years and the lord opened her eyes and the spirit came out but when he came out he stayed in one place i didn't see anything and i didn't plan to say what i was saying i said evil spirit keep on moving don't stay there I said go out of that place the members of the church they have been wondering what's it what's he saying today but the lord opened the eyes of that woman and that's we kept on moving until it went out and i said don't come back here and then we were to have the first stadium crusade in lagos i just two cassettes of maurice serrano and for weeks before that crusade i was listening to that to those two messages of maurice serrano At listening in the day, I listen in the night. I put the message there, and while I'm sleeping, it's still playing. I saturated my mind, my spirit of those two messages. And then the day came. Or oh, the crusade remember all i had within me was the message i had heard and the only way i can think is on the message i heard so we got there i want to pray i made the altar call the people responded i was not to pray for the sick in a way I had never, never done. While we were praying, we had not said the final Amen. I was still praying and praying and praying. Oh Lord, heal the sick. At the middle of the prayer, a woman, a mother began to shout. 
what happened? His son, her son, a boy, did not have any bone in one leg, only flesh. And he was he had one good leg and one flesh rubber leg. He will use one stick and wind the flesh uh, that had no blown. He would uh, wind it around that uh, stick. In the middle of the prayer, he threw away the stick. God created bone in that leg. I was still praying. And the boy began to run and to jump on both legs with bulls. When we finished prayer, that woman jumped, that woman cried, that woman laughed, that woman danced, did everything to say, God, in a very I tell you my story so that that story will be reproduced in your life don't think you cannot you can you will your own day has started today